Ladies and gentlemen, I got a message for some of these young folks out here. You know what I mean? When I say young, I'm talking about like maybe 15, 16, 17, around between, between 15 to 25. You know what I mean? Young, y'all just getting out there. Um, and maybe even a little bit younger. A few things that you might need. I don't know everything, but I, I, I'm I, telling you a few things you might need, especially for young brothers. You understand what I'm saying? Um, yourself a job. You need a job. Get yourself get yourself some kind of income coming in. I don't care whether it's a whole lot part-time, but get yourself some kind of income, okay? Whether it's full-time, part-time, depending on how old you are. If you're 15, 16, 17, part-time, it's fine. Get yourself some income, all right? Get yourself a passport. You understand? Now, one thing I did, I, I, I spent a lot of money partying and acting stupid, and then I could have saved my money and... I should have got myself a passport. Should have saved some money and and tried to get get on a plane somewhere and get on up out of there. Nonetheless, get yourself a job, get yourself a passport, uh, create an LLC, whatever it is that you like to do for free. If you a gamer, I don't care. If you like to make content, if you like to design clothes, if you like to make flyers, if you like to sell shirts, I don't care what it is that you need to do. All y'all young people, I would encourage you to open a some type of small business. Sit down at a computer. If you got to get your parents to do it, I don't care if you need your parents to sign off on it. Create some type of LLC for yourself. Create some type of entity for yourself. You work. You can work for somebody, but put learn how to put some energy into you. All right? So we're at job, uh, we're at passport because you need to travel, you need to you need to see other things. It's a big world out here. You need to see other things and you need to create an LLC and, and have an entity of you. You have to. You it is it is essential to your existence to have your own entity, big or small, for you to invest your time and energy into yourself your own equity people think that having a job is the safest thing in the world when in actuality is reversed nothing wrong with having a job isn't it's good to be able to have a job to say let's say i i, I say get to me income i i would switch that out for saying that you need a trade even if you want to go to college learn how to cut some hair hvac something construct something where you can make you where you can where your bare minimum and your rock bottom is you doing hvac plumbing embalming anything where that's if your rock bottom if, if you can say it, it if everything falls apart my rock bottom is that i can go and cut hair so your rock bottom ain't rock bottom you still got something to work with you understand what I'm saying? But nonetheless. So let me reorganize this. You might need a trade. You need a passport. LLC. And another thing you need is some doggone life insurance. Universal whole life insurance. Do it now. That way it doesn't cost you. If you if you able to get that type of policy now... 15 16 17 18 then it's not going to cost you can get a bigger policy and it's not going to cost you as much as if it would cost you if you 40 daggone years old or 50 damn years old and you're sick and you've been drinking liquor and partying and you don't have uh uh morning wood no more and your bones popping and all that you don't want to do that you want to do it now you know what i mean while you're young Get a policy, $150 a month will get you a decent policy, $100, $75, whatever. It, 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 it'll, it'll, you can get a large policy for that. You know, not saying that something happened to you, but you can get position yourself where you can borrow from the policy. Whether you, whether you, when you, when you, if you've created this LLC, if it's some type of business that you want to create, you don't have to, you know, sit in the bank 
twiddling your thumbs, trying to figure out whether they're going to give you some money because you don't have any business credit and this is your first business that you're opening. If you see a piece of property that you want to buy, you don't have to sit up there and sweating and wondering if somebody going to give you some damn money. You can borrow the money from your own policy and be able to pay your own self back. If you want to get into multi-unit uh, uh, multi um, housing, um, that's something I, and I also encourage young people to do this, man. Don't be in a rush just to buy a house, a single family home. Your first home, your first home that you live in should probably be a multi-unit, a duplex, triplex, quadruplex. Hell, a house, you can find a single family home that costs $300,000 and find a duplex or a quadruplex that costs the same damn amount of money. You can move in one unit and rent out the other three. I'm just trying to give y'all some game that nobody gave me when I was younger. And I may have said a couple things wrong or whatever the case may be, but I just felt like as I've been talking, I just got through talking to a young guy not too long ago. But I'm just saying for all of y'all that's young, in high school, coming out of high school, just got out still trying to figure out what you can do to position yourself in a spot where you can say, okay, you know, if you buy a house and because that was a thing, oh, I got myself a house, a starter house or this, that, and that ain't nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But a house don't do nothing but take money out your pocket. A multi-unit will put some money in your pocket. So one is an asset, one is a liability. An asset puts money in your pocket. Liability take money out your pocket, even if it is a house. Take it for what it's worth. I just want to drop a little game on it. That's all.